Oz, how'd you get to the game today? They're a good team, great team, 100%. Yep. And what'd you have for dinner last night? 100% of 100%. 100%. Yeah, you did, of course, 100% of whatever 100% was. You know what? Can you just do me a favor and tell me one specific thing, like just one actual original observation that you had about today's game? The game that you won almost single-handedly. Do you think that you could do that, Oz? Oh, 100%. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Welcome back to the Morty Jepson Show. I'm Morty Jepson. We're here today continuing our conversation with unbelievable mega superstar, Young Bidness. Now, Young Bidness, I gotta tell you, we've been tiptoeing around a particular subject all day, and I think it's time to broach it. You've separated recently with your, your actress girlfriend, Tina Bouquet? No. Nope. And everybody Mort, wants to know. Mort, what's we, we ain't gonna talk about that. Oh. I'm not here to talk about I that. I understand. I just wanna hear your side of the story. You don't wanna I hear just wanna... I told y'all, my. Listen, in your you music, Young Bidness, you do a lot of autobiographical songs, and lots of people understand that you're talking about See, your own personal more, experiences. More, your fans I ain't would going, like to know how much, how what's going on need, with you and what, Tina. What, no, yo, the That's fans a, don't want to know. We just, you want to know. We just want to clarify. You want to know. All I want to do, do, do is all I want to hear your side of the story. You want to hear my side of the story. I want to hear your side of the story. Interview's over. How about that? Interview's over. Please, Young Bidness. Done. There's no need for the interview to be over. Interview's over. Young Bidness. All y'all motherfuckers. Young Venice, there's no need for the language or any of this. We can just sit oh, down yeah, and talk. I told you I'm not going to talk about that. Do you want to talk about the album? Because I'd be more than happy to talk about the album. This is the C word. More. It looks like it's well on its way to going platinum. Or C, D, and <laughs> well. <laughs> Lewis. Lewis. Go, well on its way to going platinum. We can talk about this. It's kind of just a just album, would you say? in here. If I, it's fine with me. You want to talk about the album? We can talk about the album. How about the Tanks of Truth? Tanks of Truth. Is that a, a treatise? on the, uh, the conflict with ISIS? I mean, what, what, talk to me about this. What, young business, please. I'm begging uh, you, yeah. just sit down, take a deep breath, oh. and let's discuss, Yo. let's discuss the album. It's done, Mark. It's done. Okay, okay, young so? business, here we go. You brought this on yourself, Mort. Young Bidness, I would really you love it. You brought it on yourself, young though. Business, young Bidness, I would really love it if you had a seat and we could just talk together about anything, anything you want. We don't, I won't mention Tina's name again. Young Bidness. How the Youthful commerce. How does, where does it go to? Lewis, help me. No, get the get the off me, Lewis. Lewis, go. Leave it be, you're exacerbating the situation. This is attached to. Probably coming over. It's just a lot of the black. cord is blending in with the color of the carpet. Squiggy, squiggy. Okay, I just think that young business. No, why don't you drop the mic cable there, and there. have a seat? This is what we used to call back in the army a foobar. See, now let I me got just, this. Okay, let me just tell you. No, what's get, going don't, on. don't get involved. You see, to get you out of here, Amy. Amy please, can we just get? Why is it? Listen here. Okay, no, don't. If you let go of it, here, let me get in there. Don't get in it. Don't. I'm see, trying to get around. Why the back. Don't step on my jacket. A fifteen hundred dollar jacket, bitch. What is get? You know, why do we have black cords and a black carpet? All right, well, you want I told y'all I wasn't going to do it. Lewis, I swear to God. We're going to take care of it. Just stay put. Get. Now you got. Now I seem to have gotten leave. myself to it. Don't. You ain't. Go for you. Can I, may I help you? Don't get touch the jacket. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, your, okay, no. here's, raise your, raise your knee. There's one end right here. You gotta get now. Hold on, I got the situs. a seat. You know what, here, here's what we're no, gonna do. No, okay. Have a seat here, put your fanny I'm not, right here. Don't say fanny. Right there. Don't. There you All go. All right. How you do, you do it, what, you do this every, don't, you ain't taking the pants off. Damn. Nicole, God damn it. Where is Jerry? This is some right here. Same sound guy for 27 What's years. What's wrong with you? Vanishes all right, all right, all right, all right. No, Nicole, it's for gone. God's sake. Take, all right, Lewis, Lewis. Hold that. Do Don't it. do anything but hold that. Okay, no, no, you gotta put, no, you gotta take the, no, you can't take the pants off over the shoes. You can't take the pants off over the shoes. Lewis, Lewis, get your white ass out the mother. You ain't helping nobody. What's wrong with you? Vanishes all right, all right, all right. I'm taking the shoes off. Okay, left, right? one, left one first. All right, well, do whatever you, you want then. Fine. Thank you, one, two. Thank you, I told y'all I wasn't gonna talk about that We'll be right back with Alec Baldwin. Welcome back. We're here talking with all-star shooting guard Charlie Sanders about his amazing career. 
Now, Charlie, you grew up in a tough neighborhood, didn't you? That's right. Drugs, violence. My whole life I had to deal with adversity. And that continued when you went on to the pros? That's right. You know, fines, injuries, everything. No matter how big a star I am, I'm always going to be dealing with adversity. Adversity Johnson, what's your take on this? I don't know, girl. I just like f***ing with him. Like, mm. Ah, come on, adversity. Deal with me, dog. <laughs> dog. <laughs> I can't deal with me. Always, wherever we go, it's... Come on, no, don't. Don't drink my water. Don't drink my water. Adversity, leave me some. Leave me a sip. Leave me a sip. Damn, come on, man. Oh, deal with me. This... He doesn't, I'm sorry. Um, no, he doesn't pick up social cues. What? Here we go. Teddy Twister, Teddy Twister. Come on. Are you okay? No. I am here with Osmataz Buckshek, the rookie out of Stanford University, who is undoubtedly the MVP of today's game with an interception that he runs back for a touchdown in the last 30 seconds of the contest. Osmataz, can you walk us through what happened on that last play? It was amazing. Yeah, we knew we had to go out there, give 100%. We executed. It just went our way today. And was the quarterback giving you any clues uh, today, Oz? Uh, it, it looked like you knew that ball was going to be there. What was happening? Knew we wanted to have some fun, you know, execute. Play one quarter at a time, give 100%. 100%. Oh, okay, okay, you know, let's just, let's talk about last week's game. Uh, uh, you guys lost a heartbreaker. Give me your state of mind then versus now. Wanted to do play by play, give it 100% execution wise. Execute. Okay, you know, I'm gonna ask you something completely different that's not about football. Look at me, Oz. Just look at me for a second. I'm gonna ask you a question right here. That a boy. So you and your wife recently had, right here, stay with me. You and your wife recently had twins, okay? How does it feel to be a new dad? You know, we wanted to stay as a team, execute, give 100%, play by play. Okay, you know what? I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a little test right now. Uh, hey, Oz, how'd you get to the game today? They a good team, great team, 100%. Yep. And what'd you have for dinner last night? 100% of 100%. 100%. Yeah, you did, of course, 100% of whatever 100% was. You know what? Can you just do me a favor and tell me one specific thing, like just one actual original observation that you had about today's game? The game that you won almost single-handedly. Do you think that you could do that, Oz? Oh, 100%. Oh, God damn it! What do we do? They told us at the station to come down here and fill time, but uh, there's no story here. In this neighborhood, there's always a story. Here. Give me the name of a mythical creature. Mythical creature? I don't trust me. Uh, I don't know. A Pegasus. Pegasus, yeah. perfect. Just roll, watch, and learn. Everybody can stay in my house if they want to. Hi there, Rick Nicholsby, Channel 6 News. We've had reports of a Pegasus in the area. Has anybody seen anything like that? Oh, uh, yeah, man. I've seen a Pegasus. I've seen it yeah, every day. <laughs> I've seen it too, man. We both seen that Pegasus. That? Yeah, I saw it with my own two eyes, man. That horse had a big old snake head on oh, top man. of it. Ain't got no snake head, fool. Yeah, that, hey, that horse had some big wings, man. Yeah, like yeah. Flying, yeah, that horse had big old wings, man. Like two sets of wings, yeah, man. Y'all see the Pegasus? Oh, yeah. 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 Everybody yeah. up in here yeah. see the Pegasus, yeah. man. Yeah. Curiosity has brought out large crowds to see the alleged Pegasus in this South Lenox neighborhood. Oh, look, there it is. I'm going to find it, break it, and then ride it to the Pegasus treasure. Residents say the creature resembles this amateur sketch. Kick the f out of my car. City's got to pay for that shit too. I ain't got no coverage with no Pegasus, bitch. He landed on my roof, man. Look at my roof, man. He busted it up. He busted the whole thing up, man. Yeah, he been, he been, he been sitting up there every day. While many revel in the possibility of seeing the winged horse, others are not so welcoming. I, I just know this neighborhood will be better if that Pegasus is put down. I tell you this, God ain't putting no wings on no horse. Now see, if this was a white neighborhood, animal control would be up in here with a Pegasus trap. That's right, they can't take our Wait. Pegasus. This is our Pegasus. Yeah. Pegasus up in this mother Hey man, why you interrupting me? I'm trying to talk about the Pegasus. Hey, you. Hey, don't be disrespecting the Pegasus. I love Pegasus. I 
Yes, we're here live on the scene in South Lennox, where riots have broken out over the alleged appearance of a flying horse. What a mind-blowing finish to an incredible game tonight with Charlie Sanders winning the game in literally the last second. Uh, unbelievable, truly spectacular. Charlie Sanders, how does it feel? Hey, y'all, I want to say something to everybody watching. Yo, you can do anything. Anything's possible. The world is yours. Charlie, did you think that that game was going to end that way tonight? Yo, there are no limits, all right? You can swim across the Atlantic. You can jump real high and touch the moon. Fantastic. Charlie Sanders, fresh mm. off of his uh, victory, uh, just feel like he's ready to touch the moon. I can fly. <laughs> Anybody can fly. If you believe in yourself the way I believe in myself tonight, you will fly. And what's next for Charlie Sanders and the Orange Kids, Rangers? you can actually fly. No, no, not, well, not literally. Yes. Literally, kids, young kids, I want you to go up on your roofs right now. Wait, what? Fly into the night sky. Okay. People will see you flying, and you can do anything. You can do anything. Okay, well, we, 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 uh, we just want to remind the kids that, of course, you cannot actually fly, kids. Come on, yo, screw that negativity, man. Hey, boys and girls, ages 8 through 12, yo, don't let nobody ever tell you what you can and cannot do. All the preteen children out there, listen to my voice. You are evil. Okay, well, obviously we understand that Charlie is super excited right now and that no one is actually immortal. No one. Hey, kids, you can turn yourself into a car and have a friend drive you onto the freeway. Okay, no, well, that's just a metaphor, kids. It's not. Just you a metaphor. still have the power of childish innocence. Get a friend on your back and make a beeline for the next ramp to the freeway, y'all. Okay, don't do it. To the freeway. He's speaking figuratively, no, folks. Once you get just... there, ain't nothing figurative about this. You will turn into a robot. First and foremost, I just want to say to the 12 families who lost children, I'm sorry. My statements were irresponsible. I have subsequently looked up the terms literally and metaphorically and found that whereas I was not incorrect, they did not mean what I thought they had meant. This is the fight everybody's been waiting for. But when I get Andre in the ring, man, it's gonna be cruel and quick. This is gonna be like one, two, one, two, boom, and you out. Man, f you, Claudius Lewis. I'm gonna f you right in the ass. Yeah, I'm gonna bend you over and f you right in the ass. All right, you know what? <laughs> Andre, he likes to be trying to get into his opponent's heads by saying crazy stuff. He ain't gonna get into my head. He ain't gonna get into my head. No, I'm not gonna get in your head. I'm gonna get in your ass, just like I said. Just right up in there in that tiny little minuscule ass of yours. This is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna take you to a nice, high, fancy, highfalutin restaurant, and I'm gonna buy you things, wine and dine you. And we're gonna find some things that we have in common, and they're gonna become inside jokes to us. And then we're just gonna laugh about them in the taxi all the way to your house, where I'm gonna you in the ass. Oh, okay, now, just me per personally, I've never, you know, I never seen Andre take it that far before, but <laughs> what, whatever. Yeah, whatever, I'll tell you whatever. Whatever, I'm finally gonna feel comfortable taking you out to dinner parties, and then all of our friends who are also couples, they're just gonna laugh at us because we're that couple that holds hands all the time. And let me tell you something, Claudius, we love each other so very much that no matter how tired I am, no matter how much bull I've dealt with over the day, I'm just gonna leave it at the door when I you in the ass. Okay, you know what, man? It's time for you to stop all that nonsense right now, all right? Did he just say he's gonna take me to dinner parties? He did say dinner parties. You know, I'm gonna snuggle on the couch every night. I'm gonna let you pick the movie, even though you always pick the movie. Then I'm gonna take you out for a walk on the beach and the moonlight's gonna bounce off of your scalp and I'm just gonna kiss you so tenderly while the waves break. And then right there, right then, I'm gonna you in the sandy ass. All right, it's time for you to you shut your what? fool mouth. Is it, is it Yo, time? Yes, it is time. It's time for, it's time for you to shut your mouth. Yeah. We're going to spend the golden years together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to support you all the way through your run through city council. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. You're going to be tired and exhausted oh, yes. and right. overworked. Yes. But we're still going to find the energy to go antiquing on the weekend. Oh, yeah? And then you're going to be on your deathbed. And you're going to be sitting there, and you're going to be dying. I'm going to be right beside you, and I'm going to be crying. And right at that moment, when you cross over from this world into the next, I'm going to be you in the air. Man, I wish you tried. Oh, you do? I wish that the you wish. would try.
<laughs> no, I love the village as much as the next guy, but I'm telling you, if we continue to self-segregate ourselves, the entire gay community is going to continue to be marginalized. I was just saying this to Claudius the other night, right after I f***ed him in the ass. Yeah, he did, he did. Anyway, enough politics. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Rick Nicholsby reporting live from a gruesome scene. A cult known as QET, or Quest for Eternal Truth, has apparently taken their own lives in a mass suicide. Police confirmed that cyanide-laced cherry Kool-Aid was also on the premises. Excuse me, hi, Rick Nicholsby, Channel 6. Hi, are you two from the neighborhood? Oh, uh, yes. Yes. No. Yeah. yeah. Okay, were you two members of the cult that lived here? The cult? What cult? What? Was this a cult? cult? I had no idea no this was a cult. Way. Yeah. Although I would say the term cult is a little judgmental. I would say the same thing, yeah. Not knowing the full doctrine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, apparently they believed that there was a spaceship waiting for them behind the moon. Okay, well, you know, that, that still is really Come possible. I mean, it's possible, right? I mean, Actually, who, who I knows what is they, out there in the universe? Could be behind the moon. Okay, well, it appears they killed themselves in order to board the ship. Right, and that's where we disagreed with them right there. Or would have. We would have disagreed with them had we been there on, on our departure day. Their departure day. Their departure day, yep. which is the day that they did, did this. I mean, that's what you could call it if you wanted to, but I ain't in no cult. So, I mean, what, what I always wondered is how, or am starting to wonder since you brought this to our attention, mm -hmm. why, if there was a spaceship in the sky, yeah. why wouldn't it just beam us up? Beam them up. Right, just beam them up. Just beam them up. Why can't you just beam them up alive? Why you gotta be dead to get beamed up? You know what I'm saying? I've been saying that for weeks, for seconds, for seconds. Because because you, Rick, Nichols B, you told us that, uh, you know, and that's how I knew. Because seconds. seconds ago, 50 seconds ago, you said it. I, I didn't know anything about it until you had said it. Because I ain't in no cult. Okay, well then why would someone join a cult? Charismatic leader. leadership, you know, like a compelling a, a a person. Tuesday. Taco, Taco Tuesday. Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. I mean, hypothetically, they could have had tacos on Tuesday, which would have been a draw. I mean, that would have been a plus. Okay, so this is a tragic day for this community and for the members of the quest for earthly truth. I'm Rick Nicholsby, reporting. You see? Yep. You see? Uh -huh. <laughs> Everybody jump the gun! We're ready! And that's what we're here to say, is that we are the new Black Panther Party. What's the biggest problem facing the movement? Well, you know, we're supposed to be in this era of so-called post-racial harmony with all people in America, but us blacks are being murdered all over the place and we get the same treatment time and time again. We're not even second-class citizens. We third class. Stand up, Black America and declare to white America that we aren't gonna take this no more, okay? Why come out now and say this? You know what? You have 400 years to get it right, America, but you don't know how to treat your people, all people. It's time to stand up. It's time to take back. It's time for us to fight back. And we don't take your phony words anymore. We're not gonna do it. We want concrete results. You know, you, you, you hear what we're saying to you? United Snakes of America? What are you supposed to do when the whole world is watching and no one is saying anything? We will not be silent. Okay, you, sir. Anything you wanted to say? Oh, me? No, I'm good. We are in Hollywood. I got the answers, and the answers this morning is Mother Majesty. Thank you for being here, Mother Majesty. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Now, before the break, we heard your song, uh, She Nominon, from the new hit album, Girl Army. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Well, thank you so much, Scratch. You know, this whole album is about girls and empowering girls and, you know, kind of just showing girls that they can be strong and powerful and do what they want to do and not what the media says they need to do. All right, all right, that's deep. That's deep. Now, we got some uh, young females here who have some questions for you. Uh, is that okay? Oh, it's always okay. It's right. always okay. I always right, want to hear from my girl army. Hi, Majesty. It is so cool to meet you. Thank you so much. I think you're beautiful just like that. Um... Yeah, so, okay, last week I took your advice from your song, Get Some, and mm -hmm. I flaunted it till he wanted it. But 
I ended up losing my virginity to a guy that I don't know. You see, it is time for girls to take back their power nowadays because it's your body and it's your mind and it, you should use that to feel sexy and empowered. <laughs> but now I'm pregnant. Miracles. Next question. Hi, hi, Majesty. I'm Cassie. I think your album rocks. Thank you so much, Cassie. I think you should never change your skin. Okay. So in your song, Friday Night Freakdown. Thank you so much, Cassie. You say, bend it over, touch the ground. He'll ride you mm -hmm. like his mirror go round. Yes, I do. Is that about butt sex? What it's about, Cassie, is us reclaiming our bodies as women because, you know, for a long time, being sexy was about being sexy for a man. But this is about being sexy for yourself. Woo! But I've got herpes in my butt. Okay, let's change tracks for a second. We gonna go to commercial when we come back. Mother Majesty is going to unfurl her new song. What is it about? Oh, okay, it's, a, it's kind of a love song and it's about finding strength after having your heart broken. All right, we gonna go to commercial when we come back, Mother Majesty with who got next on this Blackberry pod? Here's your dress room, Your Majesty. Thank you so much. <sighs> That's right, girls. Being overly sexual and being strong are the same thing. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> Girl power! God, I'm allergic to this makeup. <coughs> now, why would I have burped? That's weird. I want you, but I know you. 